Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a first impressions get ready with me video for you guys. I'm going to be using the new Wet n Wild foundations. I have both the liquid foundations and a pressed powder foundation. I'm really excited to see how well these work. I've heard so many different like reviews, points of view on these products. I do know that these tend to be a little on the lighter side. So I picked up two different shades. I picked up Nude Ivory and Rose Ivory. So I picked up the pressed powder in these shades warm light just in case these two tend to be a little too light for me this one is a little bit on the warmer side just to bring back some color to my face I don't want to look white as shit I'm already light skinned as hell so I don't want to look any whiter than this so touching this product right now for the first time this feels incredibly soft it does have some pigmentation to it which is never a bad thing so I'm kind of excited to see how these two products work in conjunction with each other the one thing I will say is these foundation bottles feel very very heavy and very very expensive. I love the way these look, but this pressed powder compact is very flimsy, very plasticky, so I'm not sure if this is the best thing for traveling, but that's not the point we're trying to make here. We're trying to see how these work together on my face, so let's get started with the tutorial. I also picked up two of the Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. I have one in Video Vixen and one in Goth Topic. They're both very, very bold lippies, you guys know, here on my channel. It's all about the vampy lip. But for today's video, I might just use Video Vixen, just because this kind of goes with the color scheme I'm trying to use for my eyes today. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. My initial thought for today was to do an entire Wet n Wild makeup look. However, I couldn't find any of their new, like, concealers, so unfortunately, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced concealer and I'm also gonna be using my regular primers The one thing that was kind of weird to me was that when I went to go look for foundations I was gonna buy a darker foundation to go with these two just so I could have options as far as like three different products But they didn't have any like darker foundations other than these and I think one that was warmer than this one in Rose Ivory All they had was the very very light shades at my store However, there are 20 different shades to choose from and they're all on their website, which I will link down below All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize prime and we're gonna conceal my pores Go ahead and shake these up just to get them all mixed in. I know their applicator is kind of weird compared to other foundations. Let's go ahead and open it and see what we got inside. It comes with this like spatula thing. So I'm guessing you're supposed to use it with like a little palette, a mixing palette. All right, so first impression as far as the scent goes, it smells awful. It smells like wet paint. I don't know if it's going to subside after a couple of minutes and I already can tell I picked the wrong shade for my skin because this is actually going very very light on my skin. It looks very very bad. I'm gonna have to warm my face up with some other products in a couple minutes but and I will say right now this is attaching really really badly to my dry spots you guys know my driest areas around my nose and actually right over here on top of my cheekbones. This also is not really give me a chance to blend it out. It's drying very quickly, so you have to work quickly as well. So I've blended everything out, and overall, I will say, this has, it's a very light, like, tacky-ish feel now that it's settled into my face. It does have okay coverage. I would not call this full coverage by any means at all, but the coverage is okay. I am noticing, I'm not sure if it's just me who experiences this. If it's not just me, let me know down below. I am experiencing a slight, like, irritating, like, stingy feeling on this cheek. I'm not sure why. This is a very mattifying foundation. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin looks very, very matte. There's not dewiness at all to it, which is kind of weird because when Kathleen Lights, when I watched her video and her review of this foundation, she said that this was a very dewy foundation, which to me, I don't see the dewiness to it at all. All I'm seeing is a very, very matte face, which is not bad, but for people with me who have dry skin, um, this is probably not the best thing for you. I'm kind of scared to even use the pressed powder, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild face brush. We're gonna go ahead and pick this up. This is gonna look so cakey if I use this, but... So the product has been on my face for a good five minutes, and I'm starting to slowly like what I'm seeing. The only thing I will say is this. If you have dry skin, use a very very small amount if any because this isn't the best foundation for people with dry skin because it will cling to your driest spots and you will have cake face 
All right, so now I'm going to try to layer on my concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is my Holy Grail concealer for the past year. I love this stuff, and this stuff is actually very hydrating, so I'm hoping this will kind of subdue some of the dryness underneath my eyes with this foundation. And I'm kind of worried to see if this foundation kind of comes off with any other product. So looking up close as I'm blending, this foundation doesn't work well with this concealer. I'm not sure if it's because the concealer is very hydrating and the foundation is not or if this foundation is supposed to be used with only wet and wild products I'm not sure we're gonna test that theory out when I get my concealer in the mail next week but this is my favorite concealer and it's not sticking to my face actually it's being blended away there's little pieces of foundation and concealer I don't know if you guys can see it right here but little pieces that are rolling off of my skin because I'm blending it in I don't know let me try to wet my beauty blender a little bit more and see if that's the issue. I wet my beauty blender a little bit more to see if that kind of helps me blend this concealer on this foundation out a little easier. And, ugh, there's still product being picked up from that foundation being blended out with that concealer. So I'm gonna very quickly just do a very basic, easy, everyday appropriate smoky eye using the Studio Makeup Palette. So I've hit another little snag. So normally, when I do my foundation and concealer, I'm able to blend eyeshadows on my lids without any issue. It glides beautifully. But because this foundation did not let my concealer settle onto my skin on my lids, I'm now dealing with the very, very dry formulation of those foundations on my lids. And I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how resistant this product is it's very, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like dragging my brush, kind of. It's so dry. It's its not even let me blend this eyeshadow out. You can kind of see it's like skidding, kind of. There's like little spaces where the brush is trying to blend and it's just skipping over my lid. So now that it's taking more time to settle, you can see right here, but now that it's settling, you can see where the foundation has basically just caked up on my driest spot. Oh, this is not going to be a good first impression, let me just tell you right now, which sucks because I love Wet n Wild you normally, but this stuff is not doing too well. All right, so I'm going to try to contour my face just very, very slightly, and we're going to see how well this powder will sit on this product. And then I figured for blush, we'll go with Mellow Wine, also from Wet n Wild. This is not sitting well. Look how much more accentuated that dry area. Can I help you? And then for highlighter, I'm going to use the Precious Petals Highlighter from Wet n Wild. Go ahead and start to apply the lipstick now, but before I do that, I'm going to apply some of my lip balm because I know how drying some of these Wet n Wild lip products can be, especially the matte ones. And if you're wondering what lip product I'm using, this is the Pure Lease daily lip nourisher with mango and shea butter this is amazing all right guys so for the last step i'm going to apply this mega last liquid catsuit matte lipstick in the shade video vixen i'll go ahead and do a swatch on my hand well you know i'm preparing for a very very matte formula but it looks very creamy Ugh, but it smells terrible what is with all these products smelling like a fistful of assholes i'll go ahead and swatch for you guys so you can see what it looks like on the skin so it looks a little patchy on that lower side but we're gonna go ahead and see what it looks like on the lip. The one thing I do like about these is the doe foot applicator has like a little ridge on it so it grips your entire bottom lip so you get full coverage in maybe one or two swipes. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the lip. Alright guys, so that is all the makeup I'm gonna put on my face for today. Okay, so now for my final thoughts on this product. So, as for the liquid lipsticks, I really like what they've done with the formula. I can see right here on my hand, these do dry very, very matte, but they don't dry to a matte that's uncomfortable on your lips. It's actually very comfortable. Alright, so let's just get down to business. So, here we have a foundation that honestly, ultimately, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth your your time or money. I know it's only like five or six dollars. As a matter of fact, I only ended up paying like four dollars for mine with this coupon in store. Plus, Wet n Well was on sale at Rite Aid, so I paid even less for the foundation. So the price point isn't that bad. It's not a bad price, but I really don't think it's worth your time if, if you have dry skin because, like I've been saying this entire video, this does grip on tightly to your driest spots and it cakes onto them. So that's never a good thing. As far as coverage, I wouldn't call this a full coverage 
foundation by any means. This is definitely like a light to medium coverage, but it's not bad. As you can see, my face does look pretty good as far as that goes. The scent is god awful. That's the one thing I will say. The scent of this when you initially open the bottle smells like a fistful of assholes. It smells awful. It smells like straight up paint, wet paint, which is not the best scent in the world. However, I will say the scent has subsided. I don't smell it anymore. Now that the foundation has settled onto my skin, there is no leftover or residual scent of that paint. So that's a good thing. As for its claims of getting rid of photo flashback problems, I have no idea. Like I said, I don't really use a camera that has flash and I don't take pictures that often. So I can't tell you if it really does what it claims to do. But it says here that it was tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models and with and without flash. So obviously they've done their tests. They know what they're saying when they say these kind of things. But does it deliver that? I have no idea. I can't tell you. But what I will do is I will test that theory and I will update you guys either on Snapchat or here or maybe even both. Overall, honestly, I can't tell you that I would definitely recommend this foundation for anybody, but if you have maybe like really oily skin to maybe even combination skin, this could be a good product for you. Like I said, I wouldn't know. I don't have combination skin, but if you have oily to combination skin and you're a little bit more on the oily side as far as combination goes, definitely try it out and see if it works for you because it is a mattifying foundation. I will say that unless you put a highlighter on your face, you are not going to have any doing this on your face. So if you're more into that kind of look, this is going to be the foundation for you. And I'm not going to give you a review on this just yet. I want to use it with my normal foundation routine with my Maybelline Fit Me's and I want to see how it performs with those. So I will let you guys know how I feel about this in a later video. But with that being said guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, edit the video and upload it. So I will see you guys later. I love you guys so much. Leave your comments, requests, anything down below and I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye.